and hello student. My name is Cikgu Asma. Today, we will be learning English language. But before we start, there are few reminders that I need to tell you. Which is the first one, you need to watch the video until the end. The second one, please refer to the April module. The third one, if you have any question, ask me through the WhatsApp group. And the last one, don't forget to like MMTC page to know more information. Okay. Let's start our class. Make sure you are referring to the right module. Module Bahasa Inggeris, Dajah 1, 2, 3. Topic Word Arrangement, Verbs and also Writing. Hari ini kita akan teruskan sesi pembelajaran kita. Hari ini kita akan belajar mengenai perkataan yang pertama, never. Yang kedua, sometimes. Dan yang ketiga, always. Okay. Kita tengok mula-mula sekali. Apa maksud never? What is the meaning of never? Never tu maksudnya tak pernah. Okay. For example, dalam sentence, I never go late to school. Saya tak pernah datang lewat ke sekolah. Ha, itu never. Maksudnya tidak pernah. Uh, for example, uh, I never sleep alone at home. Saya tak pernah tidur bersendirian di rumah. Uh, itu example untuk never. Okay, macam mana pula dengan always? Always tu maksudnya selalu. Okay, maksudnya kerap. Hari-hari buat benda tu. Contoh ayat, I always go to school. Saya selalu pergi ke sekolah. Okay, lagi? Apa lagi yang selalu awak buat? Uh, I always... Brush my teeth. Ah, okay. Itu always. Maksudnya selalu. Dan yes, yang last kali kita nak belajar pasal sometimes. Sometimes tu ialah kadang-kadang. Okay, maksudnya di tengah-tengah lah. Di tengah-tengah antara never dengan always. Iaitu sometimes, kadang-kadang. Contohnya macam I sometimes sleep late. Saya kadang-kadang tidur lambat. Ha, tu example untuk sometimes. Okey, sekarang ni kita buat sedikit exercise. Awak boleh refer muka surat tujuh. Kita akan teng tengok section J. Okey, uh, dia ada dua. Belah um, kanan dan belah kiri. Awak tengok yang belah kiri tu. Okey, yang read the text and complete the table. Okay, this is Hani. She always brushes her teeth. Okay, brushes her teeth. She sometimes combs her hair. Okay, combs hair. She never does her homework. Okay, this is for Hani. And then kita tengok uh, the second one. This is John. He always goes to school by car. He sometimes has lunch with his friends. He never walks to school. Okay. And last kali kita tengok De Danny. He always, uh, this is Danny. He always has his lunch at 2 o'clock. He sometimes goes to school by bus. He never plays basketball at school. Okay. From the sentences daripada story ni, cuba awak fahamkan. Honey tu pasal apa? John tu pasal apa? Danny tu pasal apa? Okay. Yang Honey tu, awak kena tengok untuk Honey, John dengan Danny, awak kena tengok perkataan yang mana ada always, never dengan sometimes. Awak kena alert yang tu. Okay. Awak nampak perkataan tu? Okay. Sama ada awak gariskan ke, awak bulatkan ke, boleh? Okay, and then we fill in the table. Okay, kita tengok table kat bawah tu. Okay, name. Ah, awak tulis name. Name tiga-tiga tadi tu. Siapa yang mula-mula tadi? Okay, mula-mula tulis honey. Yang kedua, sebelah dia name tu. Okay, awak ada John. Yang ketiga, awak ada Danny. Okay, kalau untuk honey. Honey always apa? Yang tadi, yang kita dah baca tu. Honey always apa? Okay, refer back to the text. What honey always uh, does? Okay, 
She always brushes her teeth. Okay, dekat bawah tu, yang dekat always tu, bawah nama Hani, awak tulis brushes her teeth. Gosok gigi. And then what about John? Apa yang John always buat? Okay, John always, okay, tengok second ayat tu. This is John. He always goes to school by car. Okay, untuk yang John always goes to school by car. Pergi ke sekolah menaiki kereta. Okay, dan last kali Danny. Apa yang Danny always uh, buat? Always do. Okay, uh, he always has his lunch at 2 o'clock. Okay, awak tulis dekat box tu yang bawah nama Danny. He always has his lunch at 2 o'clock. Okay, dapat tak? Always tu apa tadi cikgu cakap? Always tu selalu. Okay, yang kedua kita tengok sometimes. Okay, sometimes ni kadang-kadang. Maksudnya tak kerap lah. Hari ni awak buat, hari esok awak tak buat. Ha, itu kadang-kadang. Okay, kalau untuk Hani. Hani, she sometimes... Combs her hair. Okay. Dekat bawah nama Hani tu, awak buat combs her hair. And then, sometimes untuk John. John sometimes dia buat apa? Hmm. Refer to the text. What do you think? He sometimes has lunch with his friends. Okay. Awak tulis dekat box tu, bawah nama John. Dekat sebaris dengan sometimes, awak tulis... He sometimes has lunch with his friends. Okay, apa maksud dia? Uh, John kadang-kadang makan tengah hari bersama kawan-kawan. Okay, what about Danny? Apa yang Danny sometimes buat? He sometimes goes to school by bus. Yes, okay. Awak letak dekat bawah kotak tu. He sometimes goes to school by bus. Okay. And then last kali kita ada never. Never apa tadi never? What is never? Never is tak pernah. Tak pernah buat. Okay? Itu never. Okay, now we look at honey. What honey never does? Okay, she never does her homework. Okay, for honey, never, she never does her homework. Okay, awak tulis untuk honey yang macam tu. And then uh, untuk John pula. Untuk John, he never walks to school. Yang last kali tu. He never walks to school. Okay. What about Danny? Danny, he always has his lunch at 2 o'clock. Okay, yang tu always. What about never? Nampak tak? Ah, yang bawah sekali tu. He never plays basketball at school. So, awak tulis dalam dalam kotak ni. Okay, awak tulis dalam kotak yang macam ni. And then, awak fill in semua kotak tu dengan always, uh, sometimes and never. Itu untuk J. Okay, now we proceed. Okay, dah habis dah. Uh, never dah habis. Always dah habis. Sometimes dah habis. I hope you remember. Now, we proceed to kita belajar pasal in and on. In, on. Bila nak guna in, bila nak guna on. Okay, boleh. Okay, now we start. Kalau in, selepas ayat in, kena ada bulan. Okay, bulan month. Okay. Ni refer to exercise K. Uh, page number 8. Okay, page number 8. And then untuk in, awak ingat eh. Selepas in, bulan, month. Okay. Kalau untuk on, selepas on, day. Contohnya, on Saturday, in March, on Wednesday, in January. Okay, macam tu. So, now we look at the exercise. Exercise K. Okay, we look at exercise K. Okay, the first one. Okay, instruction dulu. Write the correct answer. Okay, the first one. Sarah has karate. Okay, in ataupun on Sunday. What do you think? Okay. Okay, macam cikgu cakap tadi, kalau uh, in, selepas in, kena month, bulan. In January, in February, in March.
March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Sebelum tu kita guna in. What about on? Uh, on kita guna on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday and on Sunday. Okay, kalau kat nombor satu tu, Sunday tu apa? Sunday tu hari. Jadi, kita guna on Sunday. Okay, what about number two? I'm going to play basketball tempat kosong Tuesday. Tuesday tu hari. Jadi, kita guna on. Okay, what about number three? His birthday is tempat kosong June. June is month. Kalau month, kita guna in. Yes, in. Okay, what about number four? I have volleyball tempat kosong Saturday. What do you think? Saya ada bermain volleyball, bola tampar tempat kosong. Yes, on Saturday. Sebab Saturday tu hari. Okay, what about number five? My mother's birthday is tempat kosong March. Okay, March tu bulan, month. So, kita pakai in. Okay, ingat ni eh. Kalau untuk uh, bulan ataupun month, kita pakai in. Okay, in ya. Yeah. Okay, the final exam is on ke in? October, what do you think? Yes, in. Okay, number seven. Okay, now we learn about go and goes. Bila kita nak guna go, bila kita nak guna goes. Okay. Go tu kita guna untuk plural. Plural contohnya they, we. And then ada special case. I pun kita guna go and you also kita guna go. They, we, I, you. Kita guna go. They tu mereka. Go tu pergi. Mereka pergi. And then we. We tu kami. Kami pergi. We go. And then we have I. I tu saya. I go. Saya pergi. And then kita ada you. You tu awak. You go. Awak pergi. Okay, ingat. They, we, I, you. Kita guna go. Okay. They, we, I, you, kita guna go. We use go for they, we, I, you. Okay, and then what about goes? Bila kita guna goes? Goes untuk perkataan singular. Contohnya, he, she, it. Okay. He tu lelaki, merujuk pada lelaki. She tu merujuk pada perempuan. Dan itu merujuk kepada haiwan ataupun benda. Kita guna goes. He goes to school every day. Dia pergi ke sekolah tiap hari. She goes to school every day. She perempuan lah. Pergi ke sekolah setiap hari. And then for it, for example, uh, I'm talking about a cat. Cikgu tengah cakap pasal kucing. This is a cat. It goes to my house every day. Okay, tu contoh penggunaan um, he, she, it dengan goes. Okay, and then we look at the exercise.